Me? What did I do? <sighs> I mean, I didn't ask for much. The odd chat. Small talk. Oh, my God, what is this obsession with small talk? <laughs> I can do small talk. Go on, then. Small talk me. <laughs> You'll never guess what Renee did in the kitchen this morning. She only put parsley not in it. A... Food. Do not mention food. I am sick to death of food. I can talk about other things than food. <laughs> I can talk about a million other things than food. <laughs> I can talk about a million, squillion, trillion things other than food. Do you see the fight? <laughs> I don't know, but I reckon the bloke who won it should have lost it. <laughs> <laughs> or is that the other way round? Case proven. I've made an appointment for tomorrow morning at my solicitors. Janice. Come on, Gareth, this is for the best. And we've got to be civilised about it. Take it. Janice, that dress looks really great. I mean, you, you look really good in it. And the shoes, they look wonderful, very comfortable. I mean, not too loose and not too tight either. No bunions with footwear like that. <laughs> they look just right. Gareth, have you ever considered seeing somebody? I'm just trying to do small talk. And I don't want to see anybody. I just want to see you. Catching a cold, huh? Yeah. Catching a cold. There's nothing worse than a summer cold. Yeah, summer colds are, uh, the worst. Boy, one thing I hate, it's a summer cold. He ain't got a cold, he's upset. <laughs> oh, yeah, summer colds, yeah. You see, the funny thing about summer colds, right, is that when you've got a summer cold, Chef, people think you're really, really, really upset, but you're not upset at all, you just, you just got a, a bit of a summer cold, that's all. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you've got a, a mark right, right there. Right. <clears throat> Chef! Chef! Please, don't wish me good luck. It's too depressing. OK. okay. <laughs> everything... Everything OK? Oh, it was terrific. The, um... The, what was your first course? The shrimps. The shrimps were out of this world. Thank you. And the crab cakes. My crab cakes were delicious. Good. I'm so glad. <laughs> the sea bream was a hymn of praise. A hymn of praise. <laughs> it's, it's the best meal we've ever eaten. <laughs> you are one great chef. <laughs> So much for you being civilized. Me? Oh, I'm so sorry. Who was the person who hit me over the head with a law book? Only because you were shouting. I was entitled to shout all those things you said about me. But we agreed. We agreed that I could cite unreasonable behavior as grounds for divorce. There's a difference between citing unreasonable behavior and making me out to be a cross between Dr. Crippin and Vlad the Impaler's younger, nastier brother. <laughs> you were never there when I wanted you. I was busy. I was running the restaurant. I didn't have the time. Well, you should have made time. And I wanted children. Hey, come on, we both wanted children. We tried. Some of us harder than others. <laughs> oh, I see, so it's my fault, is it? Well, I'm sorry, but I always thought the act of procreation should be accompanied by a little romance. Meaning? Meaning, it's very difficult to perform when your partner's lying next to you with a stopwatch saying, right, that's it, I'm ovulating, do it now. <laughs> right. I always knew we'd end up hating each other. So did I. I said it first. Ah, but I meant it more. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Janice, I'm far too old for this. This is far too childish. Ah! Dig, 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 dig! All the digs in the world plus one! <laughs> I mean, women, what's the point of them? They're mad, completely mad. Absolutely. I mean, OK, God, you had some great ideas in the past. Creating the land, that was good. The oceans, spiffing idea. Bird and Manning, OK, you're probably a bit tired. <laughs> but women, what the heck were you thinking about? Hey! Did you want to say something, Renee? Not really. Yeah, 
women. A completely insane chef. Raving, barking, bloody man. <laughs> Absolutely right. You know what they should do with all the women in the world, Gustav? Put them on a big desert island with a huge electrified chain link fence all the way around it. Yeah, and sharks. We should have sharks. Yes. <laughs> sharks. Man eating sharks. Uh, women eating sharks, chef. Average, <laughs> yeah? Um, it stands to reason, doesn't it, chef? I mean, if you've got an island with a load of women, it should be women eating sharks, eh? I mean, if it's man eating sharks, it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't be natural, chef. <laughs> Thank you very much, David Attenborough. <laughs> women. Yeah, women are completely mad in a ship. <laughs> Sorry, slipped. <laughs> Hello? Yo, Dave, how you doing? Say again? Right. Okay. Yeah. Ignore it. Right. Ignore it. Well, wait up. Yeah. Waiter, here, we ordered two large brandies. Right. Pull your finger out, mate. You're still uh, banging that secretary bills, Dave. <laughs> What's her name? Mm, thanks. Right. No, I didn't. <laughs> now, I can't quite work it out. Either you're being extremely rude in trying to gain my attention, or you're auditioning for a part in West Side Story, or you're being extremely rude in trying to gain my attention. <laughs> Bye, Dave. <laughs> you did that on purpose, didn't you? Janice, never get involved in a fight with computer salesmen. They leave themselves open in the early rounds and then come in strong at the finish. Where have you been? The restaurant. You've been fighting with the customers? Well, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> oh, uh, I just came round to say we should be friends. I mean, I, I still want a divorce. But we shouldn't fall out. I mean, that's what other people do. I'd really like us just to be friends. Yeah. I, I made a start in sorting out the records. <laughs> it's uh, your pile, my pile. It's mine? Yeah. Yeah. My pile. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> mm mm. Take those to the charity shop. Mm -hmm. Neil Sadaka, stupid Cupid. <laughs> that is not mine. Well, it's certainly not mine. <laughs> Could you pass the wine, please? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, what about this one? Here, look. Miles. Mm. That's yours. <laughs> <laughs> the sweet's biggest hits. <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> you pass the wine, please. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right, lot number 14. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's mine. What? Marvin Gaye, that's mine. I don't think so. Look at the back in Blue Bar, it says Janice Miller. I <laughs> bought it before we were married. <laughs> Well, there's something here, but it's not a G. It's, it begins with a G. There's, there's definitely a G here. If you look here, there's a G. Nice try. <laughs> so, we'll still be friends? And we'll still do all the things we used to do? When it's my birthday, will you forget to send me flowers? Absolutely, I'll give you my word. <laughs> and on my birthday, will you still buy me those shirts? You know, the mm. coloured ones that make people do this? when I walk past them in the street. <laughs> well, we'll have to see, won't we? <laughs> Spoil sport. <laughs> All I'm saying is...